why is it that you haven't invested? Being completely honest, lack of knowledge. Yeah. I don't know loads about what it is. It sounds quite scary. Mm. And I think I had the impression that you need quite a lot of money to invest. Mm. So obviously it's interesting hearing from you that you don't. And obviously I'm also self-employed. Yeah. So for me, when I have a bit of spare money, I like to put it away for the months that I don't earn as much. So for me investing, I'd be scared that I'd put that money out and then not be able to get it back. Mm. But you've also explained that you can actually take that money out whenever you need to. So have you considered your retirement plans? Being honest, no, not a clue. <laughs> Don't think that far ahead. <laughs> Sorry, you make me giggle. Okay, fair enough. So you have what's called a state pension in the UK. So um, if you have contributed 35 full years of national insurance contributions, so that's that second employment tax that you pay. Mm -hmm. So whether you're employed or self-employed, you have pay income tax and national insurance. Mm -hmm. And once you've contributed 35 full years, you get the full UK state pension. That doesn't kick in currently until you're 66, mm -hmm. rising to 68 in the next few years and further. Mm -hmm. And so what happens for most employed people is a workplace pension, where if you are employed, you put into your workplace pension and so does your employer. If you're self-employed, not happening, because right. obviously there isn't an employer that's also putting into your pension. So what you want to consider is obviously setting up your own pension or a SIP, so a self-invested personal pension, which you can do, or you can obviously invest. Investing is a way to build your wealth for the future. Mm -hmm. And that's why for lots of self-employed people, they might start considering investing as a way to build for their retirement, not just kind of tracking stocks and having extra money in the next few years, but mm -hmm. really long-term gains. Well, investing to me is honestly just like a world that I haven't even tried to learn about. You know, you hear it and you think, oh yeah, okay. So I'm actually like, mm. so, you know, even when people talk to me about it, I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. So I really don't have that much knowledge on it, which is... Do you think it's because also it's not being talked about in your friendship groups? Because oh, I... yeah, my friends definitely don't talk about yeah. that kind of thing. I think being in the self-employed world and spending more time with like business owners, that's when I hear it more, mm. as opposed to like my employed friends, I yeah. would say. Yeah. So I think, yeah, it's just one of those things that I've just... I think also as a woman, it's something that we aren't used to talking about building wealth. Yeah. I think we're very used to talking about spending and yeah. saving, but we're not used to talking about how we actually build our wealth for our future or yeah. plan for our future because statistically, obviously more women are gonna go into unpaid care leave mm. and actually how are we planning for that? Like what's our, what's our method to make sure that money is there mm. for those situations that are going to happen yeah. or might happen to people? You know, I think it's um, it's something I think really needs to be talked about more in yeah. like these like feminine areas because mm -hmm. actually it's you it feels like it feels like they're missing out mm. because they're not being taught how to do this. Yeah, and they think they're doing everything they need to do by saving. But actually, there's a, there's a ne another level that they're yeah. not even being shown. Yeah. I think even this conversation of having more knowledge around it has definitely made me quite keen. I would like someone to hold my hand a little bit for mm. sure. Yeah a platform or a person that could say, this is where we're gonna get started and this is how we're gonna do it, is definitely what I would like. Um, and I think just seeing more people do it, like it, it being more of a topic of conversation as opposed to something that, as I say, you only see rich people or, or big business owners doing, because it makes you think, well, they're the people who do it, as opposed to just normal, you know, day-to-day -day people. So I think that would definitely get me more interested in doing it.